Today, it's the Sony Future of Gaming event. What's the future? Probably a black box. This is Checkpoint. But what are the dimensions of the black box? That's what we need to know. <laughs> That's always don't... the most important part. Is it going to have lights on it? How many lights? These are all. Are they going to be eye piercing blue so you have to stare at them in your darkened living room while you're trying to play a game? I mean, of course. That's the mm. only color of LEDs to put on electronics, apparently. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Speculation Point. Yeah. <laughs> I was, you know, we, we were talking about when we were writing this or when we were setting up for this, this episode or, or the writing the stuff that we should, we were going to like leave a, a story spot for mm -hmm. whatever comes out of the Sony press event. And I was like, and I was thinking like, if we're going to, if, if the, if this episode of Checkpoint was actually going to come out, like, uh, not, you know, rather than tonight or tomorrow morning, like right away. Uh, I would be ha like inclined just to like write the story before the actual event happens. Just mm, be yeah. like, this is what we assume they're going to be announcing. It's just like a <laughs> Mad Lib. Yeah, they announce yeah. the blank to blank, and it's going to retail for blank, which is probably way too much. But I don't know. Maybe <laughs> is that too I'm... much for a console or a screaming deal for a PC? I can't tell anymore. Yeah, I I just kind of feel like it's uh... a. <laughs> I just hope they do something really stupid so that we have we can write a story about it. Mm, uh, yeah, guess the release games, uh, <laughs> so, says Chrono2x. So I'm going to say uh, some sort of family-friendly looking Sony first-party game that will be good and that n people will not form any strong opinions about. Right? Uh, I believe they're gonna, they'll, there'll be another reboot of God of War. Mm. Mm -hmm. Not 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 just a, a a sequel in the previous reboot series. No, no, just another reboot. Just reboot it again. Uh, I'm guessing now. This is me just being optimistic. I'm guessing Atlas announcement because mm -hmm. Atlas announcements typically come. Atlas and Sony have worked together for a long time, although they're now getting buddy buzzy with Nintendo, so maybe not. But I would say that Atlas is flagship series persona is is playstation mm. isn't it mm. exclusive still i'm not sure uh i mean except for persona 4 golden is now coming to the pc oh that's true so maybe not i just yeah. want an atlas announcement mm -hmm. well you probably get one more You're horizon probably, probably. yeah uh, a new horizon zero dawn would be pretty neat actually Ooh. horizon zero dawn i actually say is the smart money that's a Perfect. that's a, i give you a two to one odds Yes, Horizon 1 Dawn. Dirge Novak says, Do you remember when Atlas announced Shin Megami Tensei 5 a million years ago and said nothing about it ever again? Yes, that's how mm -hmm. it... The, that we're, like, when did they announce that game? Five years ago now? Something like that, yeah. Okay, we might see something in the next couple of years. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, Atlas takes, like, seven or eight years to make a game. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll get info on the new Beyond Good and Evil. That's the other one that keeps oh. getting. That's the one that keeps getting trotted out every once in a while, being like, "This game still exists. Yep. Maybe it's different Heather's than what you thought it would it be." On, yeah, Heather's currently playing it on her stream, actually. The original. Oh, oh, oh uh, good uh, yeah, she's having a blast with it. Ooh. Uh, so, by the way, just 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 so everybody at home knows, um, so what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be restreaming. Uh, or rebroadcasting, or co-streaming, or whatever you want to say it. The the Sony press event, uh, Sony future, Sony PS5 future of gaming event. Um, so you don't have to, we and we're we're allowed to rebroadcast it, so you don't have to have it like open another window or whatever. Um, so I've got it here, so I'll switch us over once it actually starts. It's just on the like, uh, whatever going online screen right now. Yeah. Um, so it's supposed to start at around one o'clock. We'll see how that goes. Um, and then we will try to switch over to that and uh, make sure that works out. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm going to assume that we're going to get a, uh, a Call of Duty mobile game on PlayStation. 
going to go right out there right now and say that they're going to they're for launch they're going to launch a Call of Duty game, but it's going to be the mobile game. Mm. They're, like it's going to be a port of the mobile game to PlayStation Five. Yes, to, and it's going to have crossplay with phones to really to really use that 4K yeah uh, video capability. Yeah, uh, totally not Lunatech asks, will we be able to hear your commentary during the announcement? That's the idea. Yeah. Um, so do, we'll, do we if plan you, on it being funny? I don't know. <laughs> if you want to hear it without us talking over everything, you might want to watch the re the actual stream on uh, either Twitch Gaming or PlayStation. Uh, but if you're okay with us talking over it, uh, then uh, this is where you want to be. Um, this is... Kind of a, a fun thing to do. Ooh, they have the word "stay tuned" on screen now. Nice. That's that's uh, how just giving you an update on how we're doing for going online. I, I have a uh, suggestion. I have. A, I think this is an easy. Uh, I think I would not win much money making this bet. A uh, uh, teaser preview of Final Set Fantasy VII Remake Part Two. Mm, that sounds good. Yeah. Oh, okay. really? Yeah. Yep. I wouldn't have thought that they would be far enough along on it, but who knows? This is the kind of this is the perfect place to put a teaser preview. Yeah, it'll mostly be re repurposed footage from the uh, from remake one. But, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll, let's talk about the controller real briefly. Then I believe they're bringing back the bo uh, the boomerang controller. Well, the controller they have shown, haven't they? Is I don't it the controller? I, I believe. Know, the, I think the control the controller is the one part that they have seen. Ah, yeah. So we have seen. We know that whatever they announce today will have a controller, and it's a controller that essentially looks like the six-axis controller, but it's got a few extra little bits. All right, all right. That sounds good. So then that means that the console itself will be boomerang shaped. Now that is a hot take. That is an interesting mm -hmm. idea. Mm hmm. Uh, what what is the shape of console that would be least useful to fit ovoid about, an, an ovoid yeah they just kind of like one of those like wibble wobbles that just kinda, yes <laughs> oh, and, you know, it, and it has like. and it's it's uh uh it's it's exhaust fans alternate on both sides <laughs> so yeah. it, kinda, yeah. it just kind of wobbles as it goes <laughs> Yeah. See, we're actually making it cooler because you make it you make it sit on a magnetic levitating base and so then it just is constantly moving out of the corner of your eye. And that mm. would be kind of cool. Yeah, and, and, it, and it hums and it vibrates and it looks like an extremely expensive sex toy. Right? And really big. Yeah. Bigger than you would want. Like a saddle. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Uh. Ooh, a Klein bottle shape. Yeah. The, the, okay, so how about then the, the exhaust fans are situated one on either side so that as it, starts, as it starts moving, it starts spinning faster and faster and faster in place. And the faster it spins, the more, like... The, Ks the, it puts out. Well, well but it's like as, as, it's, uh, as it's working harder, and then, you know, mm -hmm. if, you, if you are not playing a game and you're just, like, watching a movie, it starts spinning slower. That'd be, that'd be sweet. The console somebody, itself is the fan. Somebody in chat said that uh, we've been making a lot of Sibian jokes recently. No one, I don't know what a Sibian is. Nobody, you brought Sorry. that up. Is it, <laughs> what's it? It's like some sort of high end pleasure device, isn't it? Yes, I believe okay. so. Okay. <laughs> like a PlayStation, you know. Yeah. yeah. High end pleasure device. An expensive pleasure device. <sighs> so the the uh like the trend of course like the we've seen the the xbox um and it's kind of a long tall thing sally um, a long tall sally um kind of it's basically like a it's it's a square but it's like tall now looks kind of like an amazon mm. alexa but like squared off oops interesting Sorry. Alexa just woke up. Shut up. <laughs> an Amazon, you know who. An Alexa or an, an Amazon. <laughs> whatever. 
You're going to end up with five PS5s by the end of the day, Paul, if you keep that shit up. <laughs> Apparently so, yeah. Yeah, people think about, like, what's the best, you know, they want to have it, like, show up nicely in your... Oh, hey, I think we're going. All right. Oh, so new Spider-Man game. Excellent. Oh, everybody, the PS5 itself. Can everybody hear it? It's a white cube. So we're getting a curiosity sequel. Ooh. Wow. It's a triangle. I know, it's really hard to look at, actually. <laughs> this is great. I love it. Oh, man. Hey, mine's buffering. Can, can, can we have it in the shape of something that only actually works from one angle? Getting clicking. Yeah. Oh, that's that, the that's the, the, that's the beat. Beat, Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's just the logo. I was like, holy crap, this is a weird shape. It's like, oh no, that's just yeah. the that's just the logo that they're doing. Although having the console in the shape of the logo mm -hmm. would be pretty cool. Strong, strong element. I do actually like that they're they're pulling this shit right out of a reboot. Apparently. I asked the platonic solids. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Wonder, like, different choices. How we might have ended up. No. I like the hand we've been dealt. Oh man, guys, I am. I am five seconds behind the actual stream, so you will hear me make late comments. Oh. Yeah, we're we're watching it on our own sh uh, on our own windows. We're not watching the stream. So we'll yeah, hopefully it'll be. So this is all just stuff that already has happened. Yeah, I gotta play uh, yeah. uh, Kojima's yeah. new game. Together, we were destined for something great. Death Stranding. Yeah, I really want to play that. It does look neat. It looks absurd. A really weird set Why of cuts. Why did I move here? I guess it was the weather. Ooh. Or the. Nah, I don't know. That thing. That magic. New GTA? Oh, God. The same thing. I thought we trying to get out of this bullshit. Wait, why are we advertising huh? old PlayStation 4 games? Like every day. It's the future of gaming. The shit you already played. My job, my score, it's just what, this it's, is what people want, Paul. It's, it's like, the same thing they already played. It's like, Sony, you've convinced us. We, we should talk about work. So, like, GTA V is one of the most successful games. You, 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 you don't need to continue advertising this. We all love banks. Get me a DJ. Give me a hand with these bodies. I feel like a guy running at coming to you and saying, give me a hand with these bodies is like, that's like peak GTA. Champagne, anyone? Okay. GTA's weird, I didn't realize. It's like Saints Row. Uh, yeah. It's, I mean, Saints Row was originally kind of a parody of GTA. Yeah, exactly. And now it's its own parody, I guess. I don't... And ah, here we go. It's coming to the PlayStation 5. But what is the PlayStation 5? I do like that for all oh. the footage that's PS4 footage, they are showing PS4 on the screen at the same time. Just to make ah. sure. Okay, so you get it for free, but you still have to pay for it. One million dollars in GTA cash. Not, which is not, not real cash. You just start, they're just going to start giving people in-game money until it launches and then cut that off. You're going to get people hooked on money. First few months are always free. Yeah. <laughs> get people hook, <laughs> hooked on capitalism. So that's how it used to work with cocaine. Your first few months of cocaine were always free. 
It was great to kick today off with a look back at just some of the seminal moments of the last 25 years. And what better Half way to bridge our GTA past and our future than with a game that's graced every PlayStation console, Grand Theft Auto. It's been a privilege partnering with Rockstar Games for many years now. And we're thrilled to open today with the news that that partnership will continue with PlayStation he, 5. He does kind it's of now just CG, over a year <laughs> since we began sharing technical details of PlayStation 5. I am crazy. That, that I'm being rendered on the PlayStation 5 right now. When we get it's to show the you ultra some of the games crisp, that sharp focus, so you can see the imperfections the in his skin, which is something they normally don't do for real people. <laughs> the content we've curated for today's event showcases how PS5 has He's almost got that like when you have like those experiences that like transformative camera shots that have like an infrared filter on them. Enough yeah, yeah. We're going to have the games do our talking. That would actually like that would be an awesome power move. The like I am currently being rendered on PlayStation 5. <laughs> I'm by not a real way. person anymore. Yeah, by the way. The PlayStation 5 now runs Sony. Uh, uh um Adam Jensen. Oh, is this uh said that. He was right. Oh, Spider-Man. Yep. Now it's your turn. How about that? Uh oh. Go be a hero, Miles. Good call, Beesh. Yeah. Ultimate oh, Spider-Man? Okay. Is this spider like a spider-verse? I mean, considering the quality of the previous Spider-Man game, that plus PlayStation 5 stuff seems good. Sorry, that was my phone. It's okay. Oh, <laughs> it's just called Miles Morales. Be I mean, that's probably the easier thing to, to advertise, right? You be want yourself. to be able to say Miles or be Miles Morales, you know. Like. What if, but if you called it Ultimate Spider-Man, people would really know. But if I'm not Miles Morales, though, I mean, I wish I was. Yeah. So I'm just gonna lift this up a little bit so you can see it. All right, Sony does racing games. Ooh. Is it going to be a, a Gran Turismo? Or They're finally going to add the D to the end. A, a, petit, a petit Turismo? Moyen Turismo? It Everything's so shiny. I don't think th these cars are as shiny as this in real life. Gran Turismo is back. And it's actually going to be like a full game this time. <laughs> <laughs> Have they not been before, really? Well, wasn't the last Gran Turismo released like just a little bit of a game? It was only like a couple of cars. It was like a test thing. Oh, okay. Or was that a different oh, racing game? Am I burning a different racing game? <laughs> I, I, every time they put out a Gran Turismo uh, game, I'm like, how can they look more? Yeah, the Gran Turismo realistic? prologue. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's it's like a, uh, it's this is like one of those ones where you buy a bunch of cars and then you press a button to make them race and they race. Excellent. I think you I played this on my mobile phone back in the day. Oh, uh, it's like Gran Turismo Manager. Yes. <laughs> I wonder if they're uh, these, as part of releasing these games uh, right now, these companies are like working to get exclusive deals for at home NASCAR racing. Uh, yeah. I can't, or you know what? Formula I am one or whatever. desperately looking forward to the amount of real life pro racers that are going to fuck up their careers over playing this online. <laughs> I mean, it's not like they need Gran Turismo to do that, but... No, at least they're, they're just getting new avenue. 
they'll be we'll be able to see them mess up their careers in so de vivid detail. It'll be like we're almost there in the car with them screwing up our career. Speaking of being almost there in the car, this game is gorgeous, and the car they have chosen to show it off has this teeny tiny field of view. Right? Yeah. So it's sort of like a slit. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we could see like more. That looks like something that they would do to like, uh, the, the something that you would do to like uh, hide the fact that you can't load as much. Yeah. I think it's just. Ooh. Oh. Okay, so this is a, uh, a cute and family-friendly first-party game that will sort of make a medium impact on people. Called this before the stream started. It's another oh. Spider-Man game. Is this a new knack? No. Oh, a new Ratchet and Clank. You all right back oh. Ooh. No way. I bet you they're screaming in the chat right now. It appears that the dimensions are collapsing on one another. If we cannot get Monster to Hunter, Ratchet and Clank. Two. Right. The oh. ship. I mean, we can't be that far. I mean, Monster Hunter with Ratchet and Clank weapons would be actually pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. How do I steer this thing? Ask nicely. Slow down, please. That's not listening. Oh, nice. It's a kart racer. Hmm. I it might be there. It might be just a racing part of a larger game. Oh boy. It's a real shooter. Yeah. Well, it is certainly not good. Great. Where are we? Going through dimensions? I can dig it. Yeah, this is like, actual you, gameplay. You play yeah, there is actually. You do actually get to run around. Oh, good. It's not just a card game or something. Uh oh. Now, here we are in Blade Runner. Ratchet. We are too late. Ratchet? Who? Speak for yourself. <gasps> It's another one of whatever Ratchet is. I don't know if it was ever established. Hi, I'm Marcus Smith, creative director at Insomniac Games. The it's entire Ratchet. studio is so excited <laughs> to be able to share with you a first ever look at Ratchet that and Clank's Rift Apart. That's good. A brand new, full length, interdimensional adventure built from the ground up for the PlayStation 5. We're doing things we've never been able rule to do. Rule 34. Before. Wait, like, no, rule 67? <laughs> to be able to leap from planet to planet. What rule is it? Or put ray it's going to be all of them eventually. <laughs> all of our Every time you say it, with it becomes that one. Previously unseen. 63, Plus, thank you. Ratchet's all new arsenal is more exciting than ever thanks to the dual sense controller's enhanced feedback. Ooh. This is a very Ratchet dramatic lighting they have on all of these interview insomniac, parts. And we can't wait to share more with you in the future. Maybe it would be but better now, if we go down another up the side here. One sec. Mm. Let's try oh, that. there we are. I am... I'm excited about them actually showing gameplay. I, I hope mean, that will continue. We, we already said that. Smash, smash. Yeah. Sand shark. My sand shark. My heroes. Mine is Was that a kraken? Or at least a very large octopus. Whoa. I will never get used to that. Hey, to break reality. I, uh, it would be neat if the portals are actually like a mechanic as opposed to just like a way to tranquil between between the areas. Uh, that's always an interesting aspect. Yeah! I kind of wish he was doing a He must have more planned than That's what I'm afraid of. Yes! 
so many weapons. Oh, that was cool. Whoa. Whoa, what happened there? It's like a portal. It's like you pull the portal like through yourself. Yeah. Reminds me a little bit of like Bioshock Infinite. Yeah, yeah. It feels very tactile. That's all of them. Rift apart. Captured on a PS5. Cool, I'm into it. I'm always a fan of a good platformer. I wonder if this is the PlayStation logo. Nope. Oh, it's just damn. a thing. <laughs> <laughs> ah! What was that? It was like the start of a logo sequence and then it just ended. It's like, oh shit, wait, no, keep moving. Uh, new Xenogears. In a world God, not could her we... own, where our resolve will be tested. Truths will be questioned. Also, glowing wolf things. Yeah. Sheep of prize. Whoop! Whoop! Fast, I mean, long jumps. I have no idea what this is, but I'm kind of excited already. Project Athia. Also, new IP. Yay! Yeah. The new thing that, like... It Square does do that, don't they? It looks kind doesn't it? Mm. Designed, uh, designed exclusively for the PlayStation. Not necessarily to be released exclusively for PlayStation. Apparently, the logo intro is happening over the course of several. Yeah, it takes a long trailers. time to, to render. <laughs> Blue 12. Happening on a very narrow portrait frame of view. This is the mobile game. Oh, poor humans. Kitty! I like how even if humans are extinct, cats aren't. <laughs> oh, robots like cats. Robots love cats. Robots could stand to clean up the fucking place, though, right? They're robots. Who cares? Are you actually, are you actually the robot? Are you actually the cat in this? We might be the... Oh. That would be pretty awesome. We, we're wearing a little backpack. Uh, cat with backpack. Okay, but hear me out. But it's like, it's like lycanthropy. Like you're you're the cat, but you trans you're the last of the humans that they all transformed into cats. Like like lycanthropy. Yeah, lycanthropy. All right, new Mirror's Edge, right? But this time with cats. That cat could be cuter. Straight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm excited for that. That looks neat. Like playing a playing a cat game? in a in a futuristic cyberpunk world. Death yeah. purring. Mm, Meower's Edge. I like that. Oh. <laughs> Realistically, a cat is capable of some pretty great parkour. Yeah. Twenty twenty one. Nice. I think everything is going to be twenty twenty one at this point. Yeah, we're we're probably seeing launch titles. Any, anything that was intended in twenty twenty is probably being pushed twenty twenty one anyway for various reasons. Haptic feedback. Also, the box is filled with glitter for some reason. Yeah. You'll never get this shit out of your house. So enjoy that. It's got its own subwoofers, apparently. I like this. Microphone. 
we were having some talk about what these adaptive triggers might actually be like, and I figure they're if they're going to be um, the kind that resist you as you pull them back, I'm assuming they're going to be magnetic. That could be cool. Yeah. Because I was trying to think of how else you do that. You'd have to put a load on a spring, and it's like maybe they'll actually just do positive pole magnets that you're trying to Making actually push to be to, towards each other. Then you can actually the vary the resistance. And technical limitations. With PS5, we're not going to be burdened like that. We're going to be able to oh, realize God. our artistic vision. Okay, his head movements better. look really it's fake. It's got a ton of horsepower, which is very <laughs> easy to unlock. And it's a, a machine that's really easy Again, to develop on. It looks, the PS5 will looks present really rendered. a paradigm shift as to what players will come to expect from gaming. Will let us tell stories, make worlds, create gameplay that I think will truly captivate the player and really surprise quite a few people. Chat, yeah. chat rumor is that these people are rendered on PS5. Coming exclusively I mean, that would be neat. PlayStation 5. He definitely does appear to be... I'm pretty sure that guy's rendered. I don't know if all of the interviews are rendered, but that guy appears. I mean, to they be. might have just they might have just touched up everybody really heavily in post. Yeah, it's just it's so sharp. Yeah, I, it's, it's definitely, definitely it. getting like an uncanny valley thing. I mean, the fact that it's we can't quite tell is impressive. Yeah. Crash. They should bring back full motion video games. My death. Groundhog Day, the next generation. Each time I awake, her eyes seem a little big. Also, she has heterochromia. Oh, I didn't notice that. This world. This looks right up Cam's at Cameron's alley. Yeah. Infecting my mind. You say that oh, as a. As an alien thing attacks her face. Yep, definitely. The longer I spend here, the more Is I this so, yeah. slip away. Aww. But I cannot Bye, sanity. lose hope. Mm. Now you can go ahead and lose hope. Yeah, those are demons. You probably didn't have to fight demons as an astronaut. The darkest of souls is to break the cycle. Before the cycle breaks me. Be natural. Returnal. Returnal. Oh, cute. Like return and eternal. Okay. Returnal. Returnal. Huh. Kind of need to. I kind of dig sort of having. Uh, she's uh, seems like kind of an unusual protagonist or an an older woman as a an action. That does not happen protagonist. a lot. No, it's true. Hey, Garfield the movie. Now Garfield fucks. Not little big planet. That, this... that camera is a bit hard to use. Um, there we go. Is this little big planet that we actually made levels this time instead of asking yeah. you to make them? Yeah. That seems like yeah, this could be a lot of fun. Oh. Little Big Planet, but a finished game. <laughs> yeah. Definitely some, yeah, some uh, Nintendo y vibes. Yeah. It's not anything groundbreaking in terms of. Uh, control, but 
you know, why does it have to be, right? It no. looks cute and fun. In <laughs> fact, I would, I would, I would venture to say that putting some sort of weird controls in your platformer is usually a bad idea. Yeah, exactly. This looks like it's heavily multiplayer. I mean, Sackboy already had the had the uh, the knitted aesthetic before Yoshi even came on the scene. Came on the scene with that, so it's true. What about that guy that just had a cardboard box on his head? I want to know more about him. <laughs> Looks like ah. it's like you know there haven't been a lot of like destruction derby games this is in a while non, have there non edgy twisted metal yeah yeah or like Carmageddon or it's like yeah twisted metal but not like super dark and gothy. So I'm guessing if you're outside of your car, you should probably not get hit. Seems but wise. maybe you can take over people's cars. Yeah. Yeah, that one lady just seems to be running around. <laughs> she like. Yeah, she was in a car once. Oh, did yeah. you? Oh, okay. I guess they probably just keep dropping new cars into the game, and you get to run from car to car. Hmm. Twisted Metal slash Fortnite. <laughs> Destruction All Stars. Cool. Twisted Metal for people to play Rocket League. It doesn't look a little Rocket League y. Yeah. Mm. Cool idea. Could be fun. Are we running out of good video game name names? Greer, and this is my brother Mike. <laughs> I mean, we're yeah. Lab, a small team with a background in film and animation. And we're very excited today to share with you the first look at our new game. It's a story full of adventure and charm that has themes in personal growth and redemption. So please enjoy. That man's shirt was so thin. Yeah. <laughs> Small children in the woods. Oh no, something terrible is going to happen. Interesting that their background is film and animation, not making games. But they are making a game. Kind. You sense the power that flows through this land. Little fluff balls. You do not fully understand it. <laughs> Driven by the belief that you can help these troubled spirits. You cannot hide your weakness from me. You like have no horizon, power Chibi here. Dawn. <laughs> what the? Wait, is this a new Pikmin game? <laughs> I was about to say, this looks very Pikmin-y. <laughs> this is like... Ghibli Pikmin? I gotta say, I'm like... I'm so here for the, like... I'm so... I'm so much more into... A lot of these games that they're showing here then like they're I, I really appreciate that they're not showing a bunch of you know war first sims. person shooters yeah yeah can have bridge of spirits like 
That looks really good. Like, I've been, I like I've been kind of interested in almost all every game that they've shown so far. Yeah, I, I'm down that it's not a lot of bunch of first person shooter stuff. I mean, I'm sure we'll get to that at some point, but. Yeah. But first, some anime! Mm. Oh, Jesus. You ever feel like you're just waiting for a sign? To do that thing you've always meant to do. Sometimes I feel like I'm just standing on the edge of doing great things. Volcano high. Din dinosaur dating game? But something's <laughs> holding me back. Maybe it's just nerves. Maybe it's the fear that I'll never be as good as what I imagine when I'm still just standing on the edge. But if we've got nothing else to lose, might as well jump. Also, we're in a band. Yeah. Wow. I like the aesthetic. What kind of a game is it? Probably Night in the Woods-ish. Hi, I'm Lorne Lanning, and I'm here to share with you a game that I've been dying to make. It's an emotionally engaging story Ooh, where rescuing is rewarding, failure is devastatingly hilarious, and the memories should last you a lifetime. Take a look. <laughs> is it more Abe? You are no longer a slave, Abe. It is. Oh, wow. Hello. They believed, trusted, followed, and it led them here. You may have escaped the murderous blades, but the fate of your entire people is up to you. New Oddworld game. Looks like just like a straight up 2D one too. Not 2D, but a two and a half D kind of, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is how they've all yeah. all been. Yeah. Whoa. This looks really neat. Oh, so you're leading people. Yeah, it's, it's like a little lemmings. bit. It's a little bit like lemmings, yeah. Yeah. You must find your full voice. Soul storm. Yeah, you you're like the only, um, whatever you are, you your your species is like slaves, and you you escape, and you have to lead everybody else out. Oh, they're moving all of Tokyo inside the PlayStation 5 then. That's great. Yeah. At a certain point, we were just like, we might as well just put everything in the PlayStation 5. Mm -hmm. So we ask that you please not turn off your PlayStation 5s or else everybody in Tokyo is just going to kind of freeze in place for a while. Do you remember the the uh, the dreaming Xanarkand in uh, in Final Fantasy X? That's the situation we've got right now. So uh, do not engage power save mode. You see things others can't. Oh, this looks Here's fantastic. Why does others it feel don't. familiar? Because you've been to Japan. Oh, well, there's that. But I mean. <laughs> 
Oh, this, this is probably new. An oh, want. okay. Yokai and stuff. Interesting. Yokai watch. <laughs> it's up Level to 5 you. takes a real Save different Tokyo. twist on it. Ooh, first person. Yeah, this is Ghostwire, but. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Did we see a demo for something like this previously? Yes. Okay. People have known that Ghostwire is coming, but I think this is the first, like... Here it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Deaky. For footage? This reminds me a lot of, uh, uh, Control. Hmm. That looks awesome. Mm, Bethesda. That looks very cool. Let's get ready to nope. That's <laughs> true. Oh. That does look quite nopey. Having a hard time figuring out what time period this is supposed to be. Super Brothers, eh? Aren't they the ones that did Sword and Sorcery? They sure are. Yes. This is a bit of a step up from that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they, have they done there, anything since Sword and Sorcery? There are more. So maybe this is what they were doing. There are more pixels in this screen than there is in the entirety <laughs> of Sword and Sorcery. <laughs> I need to take a quick break. Everybody enjoy this. Uh, right. Baxter's got poo in his fur. <laughs> I'll be back. Now on the PlayStation 5. <laughs> Rendered in more dimensions than ever before. It's just a new Alpha Centauri, isn't it? If this turns into Call of Duty, I'm going to be really upset. To be honest, if this turns into Call of Duty, I'd be like, maybe I'm kind of into Call of Duty? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, if they took this direction for the new Call of Duty, it'd be like, okay, I'd be willing to try that. So, okay, it's currently spelling Jet. out the name of the... Okay. Jet, the far shore. Ooh. Interesting. That's not 2021. Super Brothers and Pine Scented. You can just call a studio whatever you want at this point. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Earbox? Some sort of giant dogfighter thing. Okay, Paul, I don't Smash I don't want to be like down on a lot of this shit, but I actually am now wondering where all the first person shooters are. <laughs> Cuz I've been seeing a lot of third person hit people with sticks and swords shit so far. Yeah. Look at me now. Calm me down. So give me the give me the vanquish worthy foes. That's no fun. Yeah. How about we vanquish very easy to kill foes? That's kind of my favorite part, generally. Vanquish vastly <laughs> under underprepared foes. I like that they've also, by Godfall, 
I, li I like by the, those labels things have also like explain the gameplay loop right right yeah attack <laughs> do this, things do this attack things get cool weapons get better fancier looking armor continue attacking things don't worry in, in about 60 to 100 hours you'll be done oh again i am about i, I am about six seconds behind you on the on the playback. Just letting everybody know why I'm making sounds out of sync with Paul. New Hyperlight Drifter, or a more Hyperlight Drifter. Like, that's, that, what we're seeing here is literally the character of Hyperlight Drifter, correct? I believe so. Like, I mean, we've never seen the character of Hyperlight Drifter in more than a couple of pixel size, so... Fair. Straight up get murdered. All right. I have, I actually like have this. I should really play it. I heard it's good. Not this, but I played Right, but the original. I got it in like a bundle at some point. I gotta buy that Ichio bundle. You do. Everybody should. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I kind of want us to get one for the office, and I'm probably gonna get one for myself too. Wait. What game is this? Probably a new Hyperlight Drifter. It's it's by the makers of Hyperlight Drifter, and it appears to be the guy from Hyperlight Drifter. It's called cool. Solar Ash. <clears throat> that looks awesome. Yes. By Baxter, the way, butt is fixed. If you haven't already, uh, you should buy the uh, Ichio. Uh, bundle that gives you every game ever made or something yeah oh, over right. thir over 1300 games or uh, 1300 items including yeah. mostly like games this. also books rpgs random bits all your of hard work of thing. all your sacrifice only sped up the process it's a hitsman jonathan hitsman yourself alone. Page 47, 2. Only death awaits. So 472? No, no. Cool. I like how they rebooted the Hitman series and now this is just Hitman 3 again. Yeah. <laughs> Hitman 3. <laughs> this time it's not opposite. Oh, not. Track In Hitman 3, Agent 47 is back for his Hit most Freeman. intimate and professional contract in his entire Yeah, career. they should have they should have taken the this eye out of Hitman and just put in the 3 there. For the Hitman. most assassination trilogy. His most intimate contract. I'm so proud to be here to present a little glimpse of the gameplay where Agent 47 is on top of the world in Dubai. Enjoy. Why did you wink at me? He wants you to enjoy this intimate Hitman game. I like that you can justify any sort of otherworldly architecture by just saying, this is in the United Arab Emirates. You're, you, you're never would, gonna go and see it. You probably I would don't believe know you, yeah. I'll no, believe, believe it. You. I'll believe whatever you put in, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the alternative is that you call them out on it and then you don't get cool looking architecture. So Right. Yep, yeah, no, still should have moved that three where the eye was. No. <laughs> okay. Should be they Why? do the like the first one would be like hit Oh, wait, I have to go grab my controller. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Sort of active thing 
Wait, have we been seeing the the opening sequence for the PlayStation Five this entire time when all when it keeps showing all of the uh, all maybe. of the logos? Oh, maybe. Ah. A bit of a, I don't know if the the programming. I don't know a little bit of a tonal shift there. Ah, PS10 Adventures. <laughs> Astro's Playroom. I bet you, okay, I bet you every time you turn on your PlayStation, it's always a different one of these for about like three or four seconds, like about that long, really, and then it takes you to the actual menu. I mean, but it's cool. always a different one. Yeah. Oh, what's this? <laughs> that motherfucker dead. Oh. Music charming. Bah. <laughs> yep. Art style also charming. That was like a bat elephant. <laughs> Fine. Was he riding penguins down a down the Some sand dune? Sort of The elusive desert penguin. No oh, more bats. <gasps> there has been some weird moving about. It's one of those games. This is like co op gameplay. One person controls the old guy. <laughs> <laughs> Is the old guy the old version of the young guy who's killing all these things? Yeah. Who, who knows? That's okay. They don't seem like they're the same height. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, he's from Year Walk. The Adventures of Don Quixote. Little Devil Inside. Okay. What's up, everyone? Ah, the young guy's hired Ryan muscle Mason for the old guy's the expeditions. Pelicans. Here we go. The first ever teaser oh, for the NBA 2K21. Y'all are not ready for this. Y'all ready for this? No! No! We're not! Help! I Definitely forgot. filmed on a phone. I forgot that the Pelicans were a basketball team. <laughs> I was like, why is a guy from a football team announcing? Oh. Right. I ain't trying to bring you down, but for real, you might as well give up now. Think you got it. So, like, that guy wasn't rendered, right? No, that was the one. Oh, yeah. owns the place got to drag me out. This is him here, though, I bet. So damn, bro. I don't mean to say I'm gonna stray. You better just run for your life. Run for your life. Run for your life. Two K twenty one. One time I want somebody to like dunk a ball and while they're up there they take out a screwdriver and they carefully disconnect the, the rim because that's something that's never been done before. That or sounds they, so dangerous. Or they tighten it. Is. I mean, or they tighten it. Glass, they, 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 Shaq actually pulled the entire hoop down. He broke the mechanism that keeps the hoop in the air. And I'm like, now you just need somebody to like carefully dismantle it after they dunk. Ah! ah pleasant dreams! That's right. Strawberries are sentient, and they're screaming their own name in English. Like Pokemon. 
a very recently discovered species, <coughs> entirely unique to this island. Oh, this one's lively. Beautiful seed patterns. Oh, and it's tasty too. Welcome to the island of bug snakes. Oh. Kind of, this is like uh, low key horrifying. Uh, Caro Caro Benito, I believe, is the music they've used here. <laughs> this is like uh, uh, Claudia the Chance of Meatballs. Uh. They've been working on this game for a really long time. <laughs> this is amazing. My invitation is open. Come join me on the island of Bikes. <sighs> Liz! Liz, I, um, I was trying to carry a lamp with my weenie hands, but I dropped it, and uh, now the town's on fire. Oh, again? It's That's cute. What a bizarre game. I like that the trailer doesn't actually end, too. <laughs> Ah! Let us know what the real danger is. <laughs> I'm kind of concerned about that game. I I want to see it. Chat, chat's like, oh, let's know. I'm, I'm every time a game comes out, I've kind of been watching what go, what's going on and the amount of people who are watching the PlayStation Twitch channel, and that just hemorrhaged a thousand viewers. <laughs> they just left. <laughs> like ah. <laughs> And they just fell right out. So they're just like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Assassinations, explosions, yeah, no problem. Hi, everyone. Thank you for being with us today for this very special event. But before we get to the end of the show, I have something very near and dear to me. You said near, it's going to be near. Near N I E R. Simmer. This is just like a ray tracing demo. I love ray tracing. Skyrim demos. again. <laughs> I mean, I hope that was so. Also chat. Oh. Uh oh. Are you okay, man? Yeah, he's fine. Is this a new Souls game? <gasps> it looks quite Soulsy. Oh, that guy's definitely. If this isn't a Souls game, these guys are coming. They got the. They imported a lot of people from a Souls game, clearly. Oh dear. Hi. Oh. Demon Souls remastered. Demons is souls. Destin is a next-gen first-person shooter about rival assassins locked in a time loop. This is our unique vision, what Arkin is all about. Freeform immersive gameplay, a surreal player-driven story smashed together. Want to see some stylish action? Check this out. I kind of just want to listen to you guys explain it more. <laughs> I can't. I, um, everything sounds way better explained in that accent. Just pour bullets in the top of the gun. The it'll be fine. Of the 
Those were just nails. Yeah, she is not making this easy. Time loops fun. For everyone else on this island, this place is paradise. A never ending party where hunting me is the main attraction. Oh, and no matter how it's I like try to escape, Pinocchio of the future. They always cut me down. But I'm one stubborn motherfucker. Also has quite a Bioshock feel to it. Every loop I'm learning a little more, piecing together the puzzle. There's eight targets. I wonder if this got, got greenlit at about the same time we Happy Few did. There's just one little snack. The sort of retro aesthetic of that. Mm. I mean, that was quite a while ago, but. You thought it was yeah. going to be easy? Juliana Blake, Black Reef's protector and a real pain in my ass. She may kill me a million times, but eventually, inevitably, I will break this fucking loop. Such language. Yeah, right? I was kind of hoping they would just call it break the loop, but... Just call it fucking loop. Yeah. <laughs> I believe so, Penelope's watching this in the living room, so I'm excited for her to learn all, all sorts of new words today. <laughs> this is, like, pretty stylish. Very stylish. Yeah, it's kind of neat. I'm glad they didn't do the game in this aesthetic, even though it looks really good. That kind of, like, grindhouse aesthetic. Oh, too like much. Watching you die. Yeah. I like killing you. There's a difference. Okay, if it was two-player uh, competitive, that would be interesting too, right? That somebody else could play as her. Right. I mean, it would be, yeah. I mean, maybe there is some sort of uh, multiplayer mode. And Aaron saying you can play as both sides. Oh. Ah. Can you speak up? <laughs> I'm gonna turn up my presentation a bit. Jeez. Determined to find the berries. The rest. The forest the greeted them with a do. Oh. <laughs> Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on over vine, under branch, and into the forest. This looks scary. I don't like it. It's just a local tale. You're really into that stuff. Quit being so paranoid. I don't like it. No, no, really. ah. Thanks, More. thanks for getting us to turn the volume up. Game. They're coming. Has anybody ever made an ASMR video game? I don't want this dude on my side, because if we were at point blank range and he didn't hit me, I don't think he's gonna be good with a gun. Act three. <laughs> I was kind of into the Knack game, actually. 
this re what Resident Evil does this remind me of? You know the part where the one where you're like going through like old country, and like <laughs> all the all the locals are like like devil worshippers or whatever. It's four, I think. Four, yeah. Look, they've made a yeah, lot of Resident Evils. This definitely has a bit of a Resident Evil look to it. Mark another one down so, for the Let's Nopes. You seem to have modern firearms, but everyone dresses like they're. Maybe we are running out of names. Oh, yes! it is Resident Evil. Nice. Called it, called it, called it, called it. Sorry, Ethan. It <laughs> takes a village. Why? That's a lot of bullets. That's a really clever reveal for like village and then like having that fade out to be eight. That was yeah. very good work. A plus. I mean, it's no men flitting giraffe for a logo, but you know. <laughs> no, nothing ever will be again, I hope. That was a scary game. This guy's lost. Uh, hey, what, where am I? I love that it's on a giant arm. No, you know what? I'm down for a game where nothing happens. You're just walking around trying to figure out what's going on, but you look like you're ready to fight. Like you have tons of weapons and stuff? Yeah, like something's going to happen, but it's like it's not ah. really clear. Oh, God. Hello, cat. I mean, I wouldn't mind one of those. Okay. Why would you make it so that you can see its internal structure? Look, dude, if she's not scared of you, then something's wrong with her. Is that how a cat is made? That, that seems bad. The moon hates you. Please just say Death Stranding too. Just make us wonder how this all relates. Oh, okay, that's cool. He made himself one of those Zorb balls. Yeah. Something really wanted to suck him into space. Um. You were in space for what, 17 days then? Freedom. Our freedom. She's not real. That's how she breathes. I'll take the little girl to the moon. It's safe there. Yeah. Lots of original games, lots of new IP. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's that's definitely this is nice. impressive. Not only that there are those many that all the new IPs, but that Sony chooses to advertise the PlayStation Five with all the new IPs. Yeah, rather than, absolutely. Ra rather than kind of relying on the. Here's more of the same. Here's a yeah. new thing that you probably want. Because don't worry, in about two years, all the things that you already have are just going to come out again anyway. So mm -hmm. it'll be fine. You'll get the stuff that is the definitely ones. coming. Perished a thousand years ago. That's why we call them the, the old great ones. Cities mm -hmm. <laughs> turned to graves. If they were still around, it would be kind of mean to call them the old in their ones. Place, the earth is healing. Life. That's what's happening outside. Oh yeah, fight crab. The new dangers. 
Yep. Totally is. It's Horizon. I must Twi find a way to stop it. Tweezo dog. Tw Tweezo. It'll get worse and worse. Ah. I shouldn't be. Carrot sucks. There's nothing I wouldn't do to save this world. No depths I won't explore. No secret I won't unlock. You hear that, gamers? There's gonna be a lot of like random collectibles. <laughs> no barrier I won't cross. This mission is mine alone. No widgets I won't collect for no reason. If I falter, if I fail, there won't be anyone left to stop what's coming. So this is gonna have very Breath of the Wild climbing mechanic type stuff. If you see it, you can climb it, you think? I hope so. Yeah, Rise of Zero Dawn's definitely one that I've missed. Forbidden West. I like the subtle little two they have. But whatever comes. Uh, I will be ready. This is like the the battle at Helm's Deep or whatever. Yeah, it does look like the elephants. On behalf of the entire team at Gorilla, we're happy to share the first look at Horizon Forbidden West. We're continuing Elga's story as she moves west to her far future America. To brave a beautiful but dangerous frontier masked with mysterious new threats. Get ready to explore distant lands ravaged by massive storms. And take on new powerful machines as you return to the majestic world of Horizon. Stay tuned for much more. We can't wait for you to get your hands on it. It's a little confusing where they cut between them in the mid sentence. <laughs> So yeah, did they get them just to like all say yeah, the same there's thing? There's a lot to look forward to for the community. I think fans are going to be really pleased. As a game designer and storyteller, this is incredibly exciting. Right, we're talking we're a whole new here. generation of ideas and experiences mm. that we can create for the player. All right. No matter where Do we are, think no there's going to be a one more thing kind of slam like dunk? More iconic, interesting characters. More atmospheric, immersive I don't know. For to explore. I, I, I don't have enough experience with Sony like press conferences to see whether they'll do, they do that. But. We can't wait. We can't wait to share them with you. It's so just exciting. just like a logo. Incredibly exciting. Like, it's really about you know, Final, Final Fantasy Remake, remake Part Two. Yeah. Welcome, yeah. Welcome to PlayStation Five. Oh, we need to take that again. Yeah. You you up there in the top left? No, two over. You're a little late. Three down. Yeah, that guy. We need you uh, to try it early. Props up to the heroic video editors. Yeah. Who had to get who got to get a lot of stuff. Mm. I wonder if this is this presentation is any different than it was last week. Like, I wonder if they used the extra week for anything. I don't know. I wonder, like, I th I think I might prefer this as compared to a traditional E3 presentation. To be honest with you, I mean, from I've our perspective, it's ba our perspective, it's basically the same as a regular E3 presentation. But it's faster and has less technical hiccups. Yeah, yeah. You, have to, don't... you don't have to sit through somebody trying to talk live through a thing and kind of, you know, sounding stilted and and not really quite nervous. quivering. Yeah, exactly. I've always, I've liked Nintendo's Directs for a much, like, I love that because it's like, just get me to the things I want to know. Are they finally going to show us what the thing looks like? I 
mean, it's gonna have blue LEDs. It's pretty much guaranteed. Oh, mm -hmm. here we go. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. not. I didn't expect a two-tone scheme. That's not a black box at all. Yeah. But it can still go horizontal or vertical. Yeah, it looks like your cable modem. That's right. It does look like a cable modem. Hey, it's, it's got a disc. Look. It's got a disc slot. That's actually that's something. Yeah. This kind of looked like a portal turret. <laughs> or at least it's got the, it certainly has the aesthetic, the like aperture aesthetic. As long as it can go horizontal. Probably doesn't stack. I don't doesn't know stack if it can. Well. No. Yeah, but no, it looks like it's on a stand. It, but it doesn't, I don't think you can lay it on its side because it looks like the, the cladding bl uh, blouses out at the bottom. Yeah, it doesn't look flat on either side, but. Yeah. That's a real pain in the ass for people with aesthetic living rooms. Right? Maybe they'll have, like, feet. Or maybe it's just the way they're filming it, but it seems oh. really... There is one without a... Uh, there is a digital edition. Interesting. No, you're only going to download your games. And they didn't just they didn't just say it's the same thing, just one lacks a slot. It's like this one's designed differently too. Can I just download the console? <laughs> you wouldn't download a console, Paul. I screw you, I would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed the first glimpse of our future today. You've seen our most striking console design yet, and you've seen games that can only be enjoyed with the full range of PlayStation 5's features and power. At PlayStation, we Wonder believe in generational transitions. Those aren't necessarily we put years of work into making them happen. Mm -hmm, we want mm -hmm. you to enjoy the unique All right, of moving from one generation. Yeah, to the next. I like that. Six ninety nine. Thank you for joining us. Um, We're launching later this year, and we have tons more to share. <laughs> Welcome. I don't think they're going to give us the price. No. Absolutely not. It is very pretty. Like, I actually just want to see more, like, views of the, of the console. Oh, man. Can we get, like, the... The uh, um, whatever comes. If we get the 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 Xbox 360 thing and have like removable side plates. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that'd be cool. Okay. HD camera. I'm assuming this is not necessarily all included. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how many of these are going to be exclusive. So there was, there was oh, on the side. side. Looks a little We're weird. We're safe. Fit in my uh, in my uh, entertainment stand. Maybe that one just fell over. Never abandon that stinger. <laughs> no one more thing. Yeah, it's basically just what you're going to get is we're going to show you what it looks like. 
I, uh, all right. So and the and the PlayStation channel has hemorrhaged about twenty thousand people. <laughs> Basically, the moment they showed the console, it just was like, oh, we're done, and just people left on in droves. So yeah, right. I mean, obviously, price is the big consideration. Um, you know, Sony is, has always been on the high end of the consoles, so we'll see. We'll see. I imagine it's going to be a while, or it might still be a little bit before they release the price. But I bet it's it's going to be one of those things where it's like uh, our their their pricing, uh, whatever pricing they're going to have for it is going to be based on what are our competitors doing? Wait until they say their price. Yeah, there's a little bit of a. Uh, jostling for position exactly yeah playing chicken uh anyway so lots of uh interesting stuff there like like you were saying it, as we were watching it i am i am uh pleasantly surprised by the number of not only new ips but also uh interesting looking games or at least mm -hmm. from a purely selfish point of view games that i think i would like to play um, so, uh, yeah, that's cool. Who knows? Maybe I'll actually get a PS5. Not that I don't have lots of PS4s. <laughs> and one less PS3. Uh. And presumably two PS2s in the back of a closet mm. somewhere. But, uh, anyway. Uh, thanks for watching, uh, everybody. We're not going to, uh, we're sort of over time anyway, and we don't want to run into uh, LRMTG too much more. So we're not, we're not, we won't go over the uh, all the checkpoint stories this week, but um, suffice to say the episode will be coming out um, tonight or tomorrow morning. Yeah, and, we're going to uh, go record it like right now. So, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, and there's LRMTG coming up next. Followed by Tinker Taylor Solder Fry, where Ian is rebuilding Lego stuff on his uh, computer. Should be a lot of fun. Play it Ooh. forward. More Tokyo Mirage sessions on Friday. Yeah, uh, God. I'm like 46 hours into that game. I had no idea. Well, I mean, like, I knew it was long, but I didn't think it would take me this long. Uh, but that's okay. I hope everybody likes ridiculous anime. Mm -hmm. uh, Everyone likes ridiculous anime. That's true. Uh, and then LR, uh, uh, Friday Night Not Paper Fight on uh, uh, tomorrow night is going to be some Gladiator. Ooh. Uh, on uh, Arena, Arena. I believe. And then uh, on Saturday we have a special one more event. Um, from 1 p.m. to 5, I think. Um, the We're going to be doing 5v5, except it's all loading, ready, run, and friends. So oh, not, cool. Not just playing against random people. So it's going to be... They're playing Valorant. Yeah. If you're listening at home, if you're not actually watching. Playing the Valorant. Uh, and then more Kathleen's Island Tour on Sunday. Yeah, we've got some very good island tours lined up. We have Fox Mars Island. We're going there. We're going to go see our friend Jordan's Island, and we're going to go to our friend Ashland's Island, and then your community islands. And then nice. I'll line up some, got to start working on getting even more people lined up for the week after. Ah, oh, so many uh, islands to visit. So little time. Uh, and then Rhythm Cafe on Sunday. I don't know what they're going to be playing, but it will be a rhythm game. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then on Monday, more Play It Forward, followed by uh, Dice Friends, the continuation of our Over the Edge campaign. We had a little break yep. from that last week, but we will be back with more uh, Over the Edge on uh, Monday. So, lots of cool stuff coming out. Uh, and now, we should thank all the awesome people who subscribed during the stream. Starting with PVT Sad Sack, Private Sad Sack, for 45 months. Thank you very much. Private sad sack. How about you'd be a private glad sack? <laughs> Nataboo agrees with me. 27 months. And Mike Smith, 916, back for 72 months. So many months. That's... Ah, I could have done the math, but I don't care anymore. 
Mr. Morpheus for 53 months. It was six years. Hey, is it my turn? Yes. Oh, sorry. I had Cyber Egg. 45 months. Thank you very much. Shadowbow464 is back for 43 months. Welcome back. Dirge Novak for 33 months. Thank you very much. Oi, and uh, Kuzuki has been here for 30 months. Nice round number. Welcome back, Morgoth Baugrir, who's been here 11 months. So close to the anniversary. Malbeam for 47 months. Hey, Emergent OS has been here for 33 months. Welcome back, Jess K, who's been here 27 months. Viewers like you for 46 months. That's right. Viewers like viewers like you. And Gears of War was gifted a sub by the Maricad. Woo. Paneri has been here for 41 months. Welcome back. Easy Jones, 1975 for 68 months. And Adam J. Ford has been here for 67 months. That's a very long time. Thank you. Thank you, Manic Pixie Dream Lurker, who's been here for 53 months. It's your... It's Paul's turn. <laughs> Hal Halcyon Prime 9 for two months. Welcome back. And now it's my turn. Chaos Blad 3. Chaos Blade. <laughs> I like your first reading. <laughs> It's the more chaotic. Uh, Pete DeGravy has been here for 37 months, a prime number of months. Good gravy. Each bomb and friends for 40 months. Thank you very much. Hey, bro Brother Brutha. Brother Brutha. Thanks. And I said Sly back for 41 months. Welcome back. Rhino Law for 50, 25 months. And Crooked Nose has been here for 23 months. That's cute. <sighs> I like that. Hushel 23 for 41 months as well. Welcome back. Acid Burn 95 for 30 months. Cracking your old Windows 95 computers. Too many months. The Green Monster 450 has been here for 40 months. It did sound like a hacker name, didn't it? Uh, Papper Slappin, been here for 77 months. Welcome back, Papper Slappin. Isn't that actually the name of one of the guys in Hackers? Acid Burn? Yeah, Acid Burn or Crash Override. And... Uh, Lucian0451 for 23 months. Thank you very much. And Napalm Sideburns has been here for six years thank you very much that is an incredible amount of support 220 bits as well on top of that from earth and one flicker z and h bomb and friends thank you so much friends i hope everybody had a good time watching that with us and was as pleasantly surprised uh as we were uh yeah. uh yeah uh look forward to checkpoint where we may or may not talk about that in detail yeah i don't know it depends on whether we figure there's anything particularly good to actually talk about, you know, from a comedic point of view. Not yeah. you, can't, you can't really make a story, a checkpoint story out of like, hmm, some of those games look pretty good. It's not yeah. really that funny. Now, the the actual console itself looks like a toilet seat. <laughs> maybe that could know, be a take. I'm not saying it does, but maybe that could be a take that somebody yeah. has. It could just be... It could just be a, a, the story could just be us struggling to try to make fun of the presentation and ultimately be like, you know what, actually, it was really good and good for them. Yeah, and I will say, though, as far as, like, calling it that it would look like sort of a curved personal enjoyment saddle, like, the, my the design is not far off. Mm. Also, it it's probably going to get... Crevice. It's also going to get very, very warm, so I wouldn't recommend riding it. What if you're cold all the time? Well... <laughs> It, it 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 isn't a black cube though, so that's something anyway. That's an advantage. Uh, uh. All right. Well, uh, LRMPG will be 
on in just a few minutes. But for the moment, Ooh. bye. Bye, everybody. Stick around. <laughs>